Proverbs 14 and uh, 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So if, if, if these guys are ignorant, they're rejecting the word of the Lord, why are you wasting your time trying to wake them up? Unless you have an ulterior motive. You know? This is uh, Titus 1 and 15. Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. So that's a cut like That's not what's going to put it. Who's going to get it going on out? This is 2 Corinthians 6 and 13. Now, for a recompense, in the same, I speak unto, I speak, I speak as unto, a ch unto children, but ye also enlarge, let me read it again, 2 Corinthians chapter, um, 6, 13, yeah. Now, for as a recompense, in the same, I speak as unto the children. But ye also in life, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. That's it. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Now, the only time you can meet with an unbeliever is your place. You know? Five hours. Or when you try to keep the guys that's humiliated and get the truth, that's the company to Go ahead. For what? Fellowship have unfaithfulness. For what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Yeah, because Sardetta, polite, the so-called black movement, uh, they, they don't represent righteousness. Man, they represent unrighteousness. Now the kingdom of heaven, are they going to be righteous? Of course they're going to be righteous, man. And they're going to have their heads down too. Polite going to have his head down, man. We're going to have the panic on the back until he's going to have to go right. You're going to be all right, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. And what communion have light with darkness? And what communion have light with darkness? That was going on, brother. What communion have light with darkness? Go ahead. And what concord have Christ with, with Bilal? And what concord have Yahweh with Bilal? Right, Bilal, because... When you talk about your God as a, a comedic God or um, uh, uh, Isis or Horus, yeah, um, any of those yeah. gods of like the so-called comedic world, then that's you really are worshiping the devil. So polite, so matter, all you other guys out there, you devil worshipers, man. You know? Go ahead. Psalm 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh made the heaven. Right. It says, For what more have he that believeth with an infidel? Right. So if you if you have somebody that's an infidel, the word infidel means a non-believer. Somebody who doesn't believe. So if you have if you have an infidel, which polite obviously is an infidel, you know, he shot up the Bible. You know, what more what what you have nothing else to say to that guy? Except to condemn him for what he did. You know, if if he if he crosses your path. Yeah, this is that uh, Alizé is the type of guy that he loves. He loves demons, man. You know, uh, what is that script? That's uh, give me. Uh, was that Ezekiel thirteen? It tracks what demons. Ezekiel thirteen. <laughs> Ezekiel thirteen is five. I'm never tell you to jump. Ezekiel chapter thirteen, verse five. You have not gone up into the gaps. Yeah, that's it right there. We can read that whole chapter on, on, on this guy. But now let's jump. What's the last book? What verse is the last book? Because I would like to read the whole thing, but I'm not going to jump around. Hey, Shalom. Nah, last verse. Shalom. 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 Ezekiel 13 and 5. It says, You have not gone up into no the gaps. Comments, you know what it means by the gaps? These are the gaps on the, the highways and the hedges. That's all right. Go ahead. Neither made up the hedge for, yeah, for the house of Israel. Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel. Now, son, none of the house of Israel. No, he's not of the house of Israel. 
It's polite in the house of Israel. Yeah. No, they're not in the house Screaming. of Israel. So why the hell you run up your heart okay, cool. and then you got on that like uh, yeah. because we hooked up with him because we didn't know about you these things, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like 15 minutes ago, right? Yeah, okay. Nobody was putting that. Stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Uh, verse 19. Hey, what? I appreciate it. And, I will, and, and will ye pollute me all right, so let me know. among all right. my people all right. All right, for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread? In other words, will you pollute me? Read that again. And will ye pollute me among my people? Will you pollute me among my people? Meaning, uh, uh, water this thing down or uh, put uh, false doctrines in this thing for, for payoff? Well, a lot of them guys, a lot of Israelites out there have been paid off. Man. Go ahead. It says, for handfuls of barley. Micah 3, 1, 5, 1. Go ahead. For, for handfuls that's, of... That's the young general Yohanan. Wait, wait. Go ahead. For handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread. That's the right. Back in the day, they called it... Uh, way back in the day, the 30, they called it no. Oh, and they yeah. call it bread. Then they call now they call it what we call it the cabbage, cheddar, cabbage, cheddar, cheddar. cheddar. You know? Skrilla. <laughs> Skrilla. Uh, guap. Guap. Yeah. Yeah, guap, yeah. It says uh, cheese, cheese, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. It says to slay. Because this. what do they say? When they say, look, my kids gotta eat, that doesn't mean well I mean, the food stamps day, I go to throw. My kids gotta eat meaning. You want to make a lot of a lot of so-called money, man. A lot of shekels. Shekels. Go ahead. Go ahead. To slay the soul that should not die. So read that again. It says, and will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die? To slay the souls that should not die. The souls that should not die are who? The elect. The elect, come. To kill the souls that shall not die. And that's what you're doing, man. The brother, the brother says, I was in Mississippi, said he went to his mom's house and had a turkey salad. Big deal. Now, technically, was he supposed to do that? No. If they prayed, prayed over the sweet Jesus, but, you know. They, but, he, but he hung himself and said, look, I was born. But then guess what? He just said, well, he hung himself. He found a brother. You, see, that's the thing about us. If we go, if we go off and we say, look, we went off, you're still going to talk shit about us, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? You can't satisfy that too. Go ahead. It says, and to save the souls alive that should not live. Read that again. And to save the souls alive that should not live. And to save the souls alive that should not live. That's these guys are appointed to death, man. You know that polite is appointed to, unto death by the most high. You know that Sarnet is appointed to death under the most high. And the rest of the guys that are in that flat consciousness bullshit, man. You you know that they're appointed unto to death. Because the truth was given to him, man. Because what did Sarnetta do? The most high set up Sarnetta beautifully, man. Because he had, he had, the most high had him come down here, put us up on video, right? And then, and then, and then from the video, when he put it up on his channel, people were talking shit about it. So that silk all those people, man. That's all that did, that silk all those people. <laughs> you know? Go ahead. Isaiah 10 and 21. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty foe. And it wasn't. I mean, I made it. I, I got something for the Second Corinthians, yeah. chapter two, verse. Uh, I started fourteen. Now thanks be unto the Most High, which always causes us to triumph in Yahweh Shai, and make it manifest the savor of His knowledge by us in every place. Right. So basically the. When we speak this word, it's like a savor to the Lord. You know, it's a very pleasant savor. It's like when the Lord, when you offer a burnt offering to the Lord, He want to smell the fat and everything burning. It's a smell. That sweet savor. It's a smell. Right, it's a smell. The incense, you know, it says, um, it says, uh, for we are unto the Most High a sweet savor of Yahweh Shai. In them that are, that are saved and in them that perish. 
because this word got to go out regardless because you're going you're gonna to have the ones that are, 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 are elected for death and those that are elected for life which is the elect right it says to the one we are a savor of death unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life that's why when you hear it you're drawn into the truth you know yeah. because the lord is pulling you in for the elect for the elect yeah it says and who is sufficient for these things for we are not as many which corrupt the word of the most high but oh that's a big that's oh yeah, that's yeah. Heavy. we are not as many that corrupt the word of the most high when you're teaching that Edomites can make it, you're corrupt in the word of the most high. Okay? That's unsavory. Exactly. When you're teaching that the mark of the beast is an uh, embargo, the Christianity, that's corrupt in the word of the most high. Okay? And see, Jake figured they're going to keep going, you know, for the next 20 years, have children, have grandchildren, die, come back. And they think the world is going to go on as, as, as it's been going on. Matter of fact, even the spoke to it says, but as of sincerity, but as of the Most High, in the sight of the Most High, speak we in the hour shy. You know? So pretty much that's what we're doing. That's what the Lord said. It pleased them by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. You know? This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stab your pure minds by the way of remembrance, that ye might be mindful of the words which, I, which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers? And you know when that started back in the year 2000, because of the, all the guys went back in the world after the year 2000 because the Lord didn't come back. Yeah, so that was a stumbling block to it, man. Come. See? Go ahead. And say, where is the promise of his coming for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning. In other words, everything Know what's going on? In the land of Benjamin, 
to the word, to whom the words of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the 13th year of his reign. It also came in the days of Jehoiakim, and the, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, Jehoiakim, Selachim. The son of Josiah, the king of Judah, until the end of the 11th year of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, the king of Judah, until the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord to me said, I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee of No cloak for their sin. Yeah, you had no cloak for your sin. And that's where the Most High put the spirit on his devil to, to get this technology so the word could be propagated throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going all over the all around the world now. That's right. You know, so that's the reason why the Lord did that. You know, the scriptures say that in the end time, technology shall increase. What do you think the knowledge that it shall increase is talking about? Their technology. The technology that they have today is... is computers, you know, this, this internet, this world wide web, it's going uh, taught throughout the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come, you know, so right now we're in the, in the time of warning, but it's slowly coming down to the time of the most high getting, getting ready to do something, you know, because as we speak right now, you have this so-called Trump, which is the president elect, you know, and, and ever since he was elected, you see a different spirit on these so-called white people. You know, they're bold, they come around, they push you, they'll talk shit to you, you know? Why? Because because they see the, the great white man back in power, you know? Yeah, they, they think the murder, uh, the is going to make America great again. We're not going to make America great again. America's done. America's going to be destroyed. Right. Point blank period. Even George Collins said that. CTV. Jeremiah 1 and 6. Then said I, oh Lord power, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. Yeah, because the bottom line is the Lord is the one that's making us, putting his words in our mouth to speak. That's what the Lord said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know? Not, not with, with what they believe in their heart or in their mind, you know? That's what these churches do. They'll tell you what they believe in their heart or in their mind. So we're giving you, you the straight skinny from, from the hour of our shot. And whatsoever, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. That's it. And that's why the Lord said that in, in, in these times now, the prophecies were going to speak. So that somebody can hold that. 
Habakkuk, the second chapter. At the end, it, it, these things are speaking now. These prophecies that were written thousands of years ago, you know, they're starting to speak now. You're starting to see the famine. You're starting to see the earthquakes. You're starting to see the storm, the uproars of the people. And the Lord is using his men to interpret it. That's right. And the Lord is using his men to interpret it. Somebody got to do it. The boat's ain't going to come down here himself and, uh, uh, and, and uh, set up a camp and start speaking. You know, trying to get somewhere but there was like a, a was it a four thousand car uh procession procession you know for this this cop that got killed because him and his other guy got in a scuffle something happened and they killed each other so he was late to a client because he was stuck in traffic for about at a light for about 40 minutes you know so they had like i think it was a four thousand car uh, procession out there for this cop that got killed you know so these things are going to start happening even more because the people are getting tired of the cops the people don't trust the cops anymore you know because these cops pretty much are nothing but it's a big corrupt uh, organization you know and and the one the very few cops that that are that are that, are, that have a conscience and want to speak out against them they demonize them or they set them up to get killed they're like serpical like serpical that's right you know, so this society is, is a total corrupt and immoral society. That's why the more wicked you are in this society, the further you go. You know, why do you think them entertainers are where they're at, making all that money? Because they're part of the, that wickedness. They, 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 they sold their soul, man. Yeah. Reads on, I will stand upon my watch and sit me upon the tower. Right, it's time to watch, man. It ain't time to be, be sitting uh, 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 and, and leaving the flock, you know, unattended. You know, it's time It's time to work, okay? And will watch to see what he will say unto me. Right, and that's why we come out here, we speak the word, and we read the scriptures. We break the scriptures down. We go into the cross. We go into the market of peace. We go into the destruction of America. We go into the uh, uh, in the winter time. In the winter time, it's, it's a little bricky out here. Brick cold. But it ain't it ain't bad. It ain't stuff to sell it for us. Yeah. They ain't stopping them, bro. It reads on. Remember Paul. on and will see. And will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am approved. Right. So the approval is what? Let you know what's going down in the scripture. The Lord said, you know that. Uh, 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 matter of fact, keep that real quick. Right there. You know, He told us to come out here and cry aloud. That's why we're speaking. You know, so, so the bottom line is the Lord is the one that's commanded us to come out here and teach and, and, and break these things down. So you have no excuses. But the Lord covered all bases, all grounds. By the foolishness of preaching. By the foolishness of preaching to save them which believe. Because just like in the days of Noah, people looked at Noah like he was insane. Man. Like he was a fool. He said, you, you what? They look at, they look at us like this. Yeah. Oh, we are fools. We, we, we are fools for you, Howard Shai say. Oh, by the way, I know my man. I know my oh, he man. ain't out there. Blue, Blue ain't out there. He ain't out there. We can, we can jump down here and see if you out here, man. Yeah, yeah, hey. This brother right here. Hold up, this brother. I can send him down to 14th Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was out there, but I'll be wasting my time in his time. This was brother right here. That's right, that's right. So, so, that's, so why waste the time of going down there to check? That's right, that's right. Doing live feed out there. See, where's Baloo? And Baloo's at home with his bedroom slippers yeah, on, sipping that hot slippers. cocoa. The big long beard. <laughs> yeah, the bunny ears and shit. Yeah, bunny ears. Cocoa with marshmallows. Spider Man, Spider Man pajamas and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Smoking, smoking on. <laughs> this is us. This is us. Rock, 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 <laughs> listen, listen to house music. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, it's made not. It's right now. Yeah. 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 Y
This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Yeah, so we're crying aloud. That's what we out here are uh, boisterous. You know, speaking the word of the Lord. Man. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Why? Because the Lord wants an announcement to be made. And what's the announcement to be made? Is that you Israelites out there, if you don't return unto the Lord, you're going to be destroyed. And that America is going to be destroyed. But there's a certain number of you appointed to be destroyed. There's right. a certain number of you appointed to be delivered. You know? That's right. That's right. It says, um... And show my people their transgression. Right, and show my people their transgression. So whether you take heed to it or not, the Lord said, look, tell them anyway. Because in the end, the words that, that, that are being spoken, that's what's going to bring the judgment on you. You know? So nobody's going to escape, man. Nobody's going to escape the judgment that's coming. You know, the only ones that's going to make it out of here is the ones that the Lord uh, uh, uh it's going to say which are the elect of the nation of Israel. There's a scripture in the New Testament that says, uh, how can you uh, escape what you neglect so you can make it to salvation? That's a whole, that's a whole. Sound like something Paul would say. Yeah, yeah, Paul would say. Yeah, yeah. Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Mike Peter. Mike Peter. What's up, Abu? Abu. What's up, baby? Get the devil. What's up? Welcome to the Apostle Paul. Yeah, those guys are obsessed with us, man. You know, you saw me selecting that picture of Harold Camper. Oh, yeah? Harold Camper? Yeah. Well, he was the one that always talked about Jake Finney's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harold Camper. But he didn't know that he was going to be so far away. Con, con. He says, uh, Elder Albert says, he saw it as a so-called white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah 50, 81, cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right, so cry loud, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Make this announcement. Cry, cry ye out in the, in the, in the night, in the night season. He's still waiting for this man to get fired. Alright, so I'm gonna put a half. They still waiting for this guy to roll up. Somebody called him. Somebody called him. I know somebody called him. Who's the one? Don't tell him to call somebody. Call corrupt, corrupt. And for that Jamaican, come back. Oh, yeah, that same guy, yeah. <laughs> He said the strangest of his salvation. Oh, that's it, yeah. That's it, that's it. <laughs> hey, because when them chariots come, yeah, man, when them chariots come and you get taken up in the air, that's that's strange, man. Yeah, I was thinking about that about maybe six months ago. I said, man, I pray I, I, I get delivered. But how am I going to deal with going up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's faith. But it'll be fast. It'll be right. That track to be able to get you. Then you go up and down. Yeah, yeah. That's faith to the very end. You get taken up in the air, nothing. You don't know if you're going to fall back to the earth. Man. I had a dream. 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 I had
had a dream that me and Palau was walking and I saw Boom Chavin, that around Boom Chavin, it filled, it filled up the skies. And I was like, oh, I had that dream, man. I was like, what the? Hey, Fred's to the very end. They got this one video, I think it's on Worldside. It was Jake, he fought on Elliot. He said, they're aliens, aliens. Oh my God, there's one, there's two, there's three. Yeah, he was sincere. Yeah, and when Yahushai came to him and, and uh, blinded him and knocked him off the horse, then then Yahushai started teaching. Him, you know. Yep. So you're, you're talking about like Ephraim and Gad and all those. All the tribes right here. Yeah, twelve tribes of Joshua, right? Twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah. But isn't it Joshua's tribes? I mean, what's it? No, no. Twelve tribes of Israel. Yeah, yeah. Bust off before church, and for a half an hour we do our thing. Yeah, all these, all these are 
Perfect down see, see that sign? Like I said, people. that's why I always have to sign because that sign is trying to Yeah, it draws yeah. the people. Yeah. They can see see things that make sense to them. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Now these are the so-called names today. Those are names today. That's it. These are the ancient names. Oh really? Yeah, yeah that's who they are. And all this is just like a reverse of what they call nations. But I mean, this is one that's the nation that they're being called by today. Right. Which is one nation. Because right. uh, the Lord told Jacob that He would make him a company of nations. You know, so out of, out of Jacob's loins, the, the sons that came out of his loins, they became, each, each separate tribe became a nation. Was there a nation, nation of people? Yes, Ethiopians want the Negro. No, no. They, no. They, they don't, they're not, they're not Israelites either. They're not Israelites. Are you sure? Yes, you are. You know, if, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, I've watched, I've watched you, you got, yeah, but you know where that came from. Matter of fact, just he asked that. Right. He needs so to ask me a question. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a second king's, uh, Second Kings, chapter 17, verse 20. It said, Oh, oh, you're from. Yeah, 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 and now when it's brick cold <laughs> he's afraid of the cold weather Second Kings 17 and 20. It says, And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted uh, afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers. So that kills that nonsense of the faith of Israel. That was Isaiah 14. It's talking about uh, that time. The time to take the pagan Babylonian Empire. Because when the, when, when the Babylonian, Babylonian Empire took down Israel, they only took down the kingdom of Judah because the kingdom of Israel was already uh, taken away and, they, and, and eventually they went to the new world, you know? So you, you, don't, you don't know what's going on, man. Go ahead. <laughs> and delivered them into the hand of spoilers uh, until he had cast them. Now, Dr. York, oh, no, he used to teach this and said that and delivered them to the hand of spoilers. And he said that's talking about the whole nation of Israel. He didn't understand that the history. That's why I broke my light for three years ago, almost to the point, it's like I'm trying to pull up. He came out there and he brought that scripture out. So what does spoiler mean? Spoil they spoil the law? They spoil spoil the law? In other words, spoiler means another nation took them over and put them in captivity. So Dr. York said that they totally destroyed them. So now when Broke Light came down here and brought that out, I was quickly answering him. If you watch the video, he quickly went into something else. All right? That was a case in the hole. That was a case in the hole. Because he did that with a uh, fire uh, after him, and they were mumbling and fumbling. And I had to get it. He saw it. He said, Watch the video. Check out the video. <laughs> and afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers. The spoilers are the Assyrians. The, 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 uh, the Assyrians in, uh, put them in a captive, man, which was prophesied by the prophets. Spoiled the law. They like exactly. They, they, well, the well, they just took them. They, hey. took, they just took them over. They just took them over and put them in captivity. Matter of fact, go to the first verse, all right. and then we can come back. All right. Second Kings seventeen and one. It says, "In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Judah." Began Hosea. Remember, it said King of Judah. If you notice, it didn't say King of Israel because the, 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 the nation of Israel broken up into two separate kingdoms: the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. All right. Go ahead. It says, uh, uh, began. 
began Hoshea, the son of Eli, to reign in Samaria over Israel. Hoshea was the king of king of Israel. Go ahead. Nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the kings of Israel that were before him. Against him came up uh, Shalmaneser, king of Israel. Which was Shalmaneser. Which was Shalmaneser the fifth. And that was the title. All right, Shalman Nasser, he, uh, he was the fifth, and he was the one that came up against uh, uh, Hosea. Huh? Never no, 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 that was, no, that was just a touch. That came later. In. Go ahead. It says, King of Assyria. King of Assyria. So who spoiled the Israelites? Who are the spoil spoilers? The Assyrians. Go ahead. And Hosea, oh, and Hosea became his servant and gave him presents. And the king of Assyria found conspiracy in Hosea, for he had sent messengers to So, king of Egypt, and brought no present. Right, he was trying to get the king of Egypt to try to help him. Because back then we dealt with a different nation. One of King David's sons was king Because we dealt with the intrigue. So you make friends I believe in King David. I said, I believe in King David, that's To the king of Assyria, as he had done year by year, therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. By verse 20, it says, And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, and he had cast them out of his sight. So now we know who the spoilers are. Those are the Assyrians. Yeah. And cast them out of his sight. So, yeah. Dr. Young and them used to teach that. Yeah. That means Israel was done away with. He got rid of Israel. Yo, no, he gets mad at Israel. Who are you talking about? Oh, you want to go? Give me Amos 3. Give me Amos 3. Give me Amos 3. Come on. <laughs> and then go to Deuteronomy like 11 verse 12, 12 verse 11 and verse 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Now that's Amos chapter that's 3. That's it. Wrapping the bows up. Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Well, let me give you another example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you another example. You have children, right? They have their friends. Their friends are right. Their friends come over. They both do something bad. Are you going to beat your friends? Or are you going to beat yourself? Are you going to do it? Because he's going off. You might tell that person, fuck you. Or fuck you. Okay? So outside, I showed you that the one that you love, your own, your own offspring, those are the ones you're going to put in the house. Now let's hear this. Because okay, I like go, that. Go, 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 this, this is serious right That's here. it. That's it. Go ahead. It Deuteronomy 11 and 12. A land which the Lord thy power careth for. The eyes of the Lord thy power are always upon it. So it's talking about the land. So when it said he had pushed Israel out of his sight, meaning he pushed him out of the land. Right. Even though the most I can see is all low and all seeing, right? The most high's eyes is on the land of Israel. So That's, he said he pushed him out of his sight. Yeah. That didn't mean it was destroyed. Do it again next year. That's his favorite land. That's his favorite land. His favorite land, yeah. That's it. That's it. Because it says that in the Apocrypha. The promised land. Yeah, the promised land, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they're imposters. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Now, you know what? That, that makes more sense now than it did maybe 10 years ago. You know why? Because Jake knows about Israel now. Yep. Israel's all over the place. There's certain rappers that have pushed the evil Israelites. There's certain people in the smart world 
Look, Floyd, all the people know about Israel. They ain't going to come out. They told not to come out and acknowledge this, man. You know? So there's a lot of people out there that are famous that know about Israel. And that, that one UFC fighter? He holds up that. Uh, right, there was one, well, what's his name? The, the killer gorilla. Yeah, the killer gorilla. I yeah. His name, but I was checking him out. Yeah, and yeah. Basically, he had he had a, he had the name of the most side up there, and that dude is bad, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That dude is bad. Yeah. Okay, because the, the Russian dude or whatever was supposed yeah. to be. Get it? And he yeah. fucked him up, man. Yeah. And then he said, he nah. down hey, you know what you got to do, bro? You got to go. I checked out the whole file. Before I said, hey, he fight the big dudes. Then he went down to 205, so yeah. now he's going down to 185. 185, you walked through everybody. Didn't that worry me? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I had it on when I was looking for fun. Don't worry. How was the stream? I was good. Good. Nice. I, I, I mean, Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. It says, I know that whatsoever yeah, the Heavenly Father doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And the most I do it with that mention fear before. Right, so that front that Dr. York pushed years ago about Israel being done away with, the scripture said that, man. Oh, another scripture, Jeremiah 31, oh. I believe it's 31, 35. 34, 35. Yeah, so 20, Israel's still here. 20, 29, 11, or in other plans I have for you. That's it. 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 That's that's what that this whole thing is about to me is that this is what transforms my mind. Nothing, nothing, my way is the only thing that's trans, that's that's me conforming to the pattern of this world. But being transformed is to stay inside of that and it, 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 it transforms my mind. And I understand what God's will is. Like, I have to say, you guys, man, don't think I'm crazy, but I live on the street and I call it God dropping a dime on me. Like, whenever I have a question, I'm like, God, I pray a lot. Yeah, that's what you Even take before I pray every morning. Oh, I guess it was. Me and Jesus Christ have a. Yeah, you gotta thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm serious. But I call it God dropping down on me. I'll be like, relax, man. I'm like, what should I do? I don't feel like I should do it. I don't do a lot of drugs out here. All I do is sleep. Apparently, that's not true. That's a demon in itself. Anyway. Well, well, it's not really. Proverbs 21. Well, let me check the comments. Yeah, yeah, but I'm about to perish. That's about to perish. I'm not about to perish. Nobody can well, no, it's, 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 uh, it's like hard to like. Proverbs tw uh, 31 and uh, 6. It says, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've started. It says yeah. 15. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to yeah. perish, and wine unto those that be of a heavy heart. <laughs> Proverbs 23 and 1. When thou sittest to eat with a ruler, consider diligently what is before thee, and put a knife to thy well, throat. I said that yet last week. Uh, In other words, have discipline. Don't come off looking like a fool. A glutton. Gluten. Gluten. If thou be a man given to appetite, be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom. For thou set thine eyes upon that which is not, for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither. Oh, that's, that's, about, that's, that's a sellout to That's a sellout to them. Why do you call it? Because that's what a lot of these guys did. That's what the honest did. That's what they did. That's what all these guys did, man. They sold out. They got money. They got whatever they 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 no, They got whatever that 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 the uh the people like sold them out 
they knew what they wanted, and they gave it to them, man. You know? Say again? Well, that's not the real name. The real name is the house. The house shop. The house shop. Hosanna means the highest. It's another key. You know? But anyway, it's great. Check this out. Check this out, though, bro. Check this out. We're going to do a show on that. It's 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23. It says, Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. And thine often infirmities. Ooh. Well, no, you gotta do it. You gotta do it in moderation. There's nothing wrong with that. I actually do. I only drink like half a pint a day. Okay. You gotta step it down. I was way worse before. But I'm trying to get off the street, so I have to kind of. I'm trying to get a job. Hey, the the Lord was a wine bibber. The Lord drank wine. His eyes, his eyes, he drank so much wine, his eyes were red. The Lord bless you. Man got nothing to hide. <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> uh, and you ain't seen. One more game. One more game. One more game. All right, my man. Right on. Oh, my oh, no. Uh, it's all right. You sure it's all right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to keep your eyes open, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's still works? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of box cover. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. I don't want to lick it too much. Good, good. Hold on a second. Uh, he, what I do is let you want to give him a praise. Okay. Oh, this is the second time. Uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 31 and 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. This is going to prove that Israel is not done away with. It says, which divide up the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. 
Okay, so is the sun up there? Is the moon up there? Yep. Is the stars up there? Huh? So Israel's still here, man. <laughs> This because of that scripture, Romans 11 and 1. I say then, after the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid, but I also am an Israelite. And that's, the, that's the Apostle Paul speaking. The Apostle Paul is right here on 34th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Are you out size here? Which guy? Hey, right? Yeah, I'm in the midst. So what are you gonna say? Yeah. Say that I'm going around saying these your house shots. But we represent the body of your house shot. We right. represent your house shot. Ambassadors, like as the possible boss said, ambassadors of your house shot. John. We're his body. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, we, hey, we ate we ate the bread picture. and we drunk the wine, which represented his blood. You know, a lot of guys talking shit, they didn't even drink the wine. All right, but anyway, That's Romans started. 11 and 1, I say then, after wow. Mosai cast away his people, the Mosai forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What ye not what the scriptures say of Isaiah, Elias? Don't you know what the scriptures are saying? Go ahead. How he make an intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, "Lord, they have killed thy prophets." Now, who have killed the Most High's prophets? Israelites. It wasn't a mother nation; it was Israelites. And why did they do that? Because the prophets were telling Israel what's going to happen to them, and they were messengers. So what they do? They they sought to kill kill the prophets, just like you some niggas you niggas doing today, man. What did Polite do? Did not he say he's going to get the blood and the crimps on us? So he, he went in death with us. And then here come uh, Alice, uh, Alice A trying to get buddy buddy with us, man. The most I'm going to deal with the both of y'all, man. In a harsh and cruel manner. All right, go ahead. That's right. He says, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars. And I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And then you got a number of men here now on the earth that have not bowed their knees to Baal. Go ahead. Now, what did Baal do? Even so, then, at this present time. What time is it? What's today's date? Today is December uh, 10th, uh, 2016. What time? 607. 607. To this very time, so that scripture still applies at this very time in the present. Go ahead. At this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election. A remnant according to the election. Go of, ahead. Of grace. Of grace. Go ahead. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace, no more grace. But if it be a works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more yeah, yeah. work. Yeah, because this is a gift of the Lord. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it. And the thing on that election, you got guys, you know, they try to jump on a bandwagon, but they persecuted the apostles and the rest of us for using the word the elect. When we was talking about the elect, they're like, no, it's about Israel. Now you got you other clowns out there, you phonies. Oh, now yeah. you're going to sit up there and speak about the elect. Even Lahab, man. That's amazing. Well, yeah. Yeah. Say, yeah, he's yeah. speaking well, about okay. the elect. You can, you can say the elect, but you ain't of the elect, Lahab. I'm here to tell you today, Lahab, <laughs> you are not of the elect. All right? That's right. It says, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And the rest of Israel were blinded. So the most high is only dealing with the elect, and the rest of Israel was blinded, man. When you get a chance, give me uh, 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 Revelation uh, 7, start from the top. Uh, it says, according and as... the elect is not just Judah, because Revelation 7 tell you that, man. Out of the elect, you 
going to have Issachar of the elect. Yep. You're going to have Ephraim of the elect. All right? And Lahab, you every time you saw an Ephraimite, you said he was a Spaniard, man. All right? So you had Ephraim, you had the elect that's going to come out of Ephraim, man. 12,000 so called Puerto Ricans. All right? Asher, you're going to have 12,000 of the elect. Um, and then, you know, when you check out the different videos that we got all around the world, like out there in LA, right? You got this car, you, you got other Latin, Sebulon, this car, Ephraim, Jake, Benjamin, Judah, Ked, Ruben. What? What? This is Revelation chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And, and there was sealed 140 and 4,000. That's your elect. Go ahead. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Nathalian was still 12,000. We're reading about the elect. It was not Judah. Judah is a part of the elect. Go ahead. Of the tribe of Manasseh was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph was still, was still 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin was still 12,000. After this, I be held. Now, if you notice, but you had one cat teaching that Dan is this, that Dan is back, and Dan is really this side. That's why he's no longer with us, all right? You got to go by what the scriptures are saying, my man. You didn't say that. So you really can't speak on him. Go ahead. After this, after hell. This is a joke, man. After this, I be hell and love a great multitude which no man could number of all the nations and kindreds and people. Now you want to try to jump in like guys like uh, Faith to the Devil and uh, I'll Boo the Devil and uh, no, cap, no Class Alone, No Talent Alone, James, Dr. James White the Edomite, or even, or even uh, Nate, yeah, call him James White, he called him James White Esau. They're all biting on us, man. He said, James White Esau. Oh, man. Yeah, where the hell did he get that? Them guys are obsessed with grit. Obsessed with GMS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watch all your videos. I watch all your videos. Yeah, you watch, you probably watching live pre right now. Because yeah, the Howard Shah is supping with us. Great millstone. He said, I will come and sup with you. So that's how, you know, we're being refreshed all the time because the Howard Shai is constantly supping with us. That's the key. That's the key, man. If you Howard Shai is supping with you, 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 you're not hooked into the, you're not hooked into the power. Hey, because he said he has a key of David. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So no man can open that door except the Howard Shai open Yeah. And your Howard Shai is not going to open that door unless your Howard gave him the door. That's right. That's right. And the key is the name. Right. So that. So by you trying to teach polite and them, you wasting your time. The, them, them, them doors are shut and locked. But mind, mind you, he'll teach polite, but then he'll condemn that brother. Hasten is coming. Yep. He want to kill that brother for eating a piece of turkey. Right. But he'll, but he'll teach. Uh, uh, he'll teach that uh, degenerate polite. Yeah. Which we saw right through him the very first day he came here. Yeah. And, and Sakari's all smitten by that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and he made he made Sakari look stupid, man. He had him talking about angels. You still ain't told us what planet those angels was uh, uh, created on. He got, he got like, that from the book of uh, Alize. Alize, Frank Drachman. <laughs> you still ain't told us what planet the angels were created on. <laughs> the, hidden, the hidden book 
You got to the hidden book of Alice Davis. <laughs> Hey, hit the wall, boom. <laughs> the wall turns to a boom nation. Cut, cut. Pull that book out and read it. Cut, cut. Blow the dust off of, off of it. The Chronicles of Alexander. You're a joke, man. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Wacko? Yeah, go. This is Revelation. Hey. <laughs> Shout out. Revelation chapter 3 and 16, or 3 and 15. I know thy works if thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor. And when we look at you guys going into your breakdowns, that's what it's talking about, man. You ain't got the, the riches is talking about the knowledge, the wisdom and wealth of your by Shem Yahushat, which is that eye style. And where'd you have to hear about the eye style first, man? Fronting like y'all know the scriptures, you had 95% of the truth, man. But you ain't got the eye style. And when we see you guys go into your lesson, you do try to go into a lesson, you be sitting there butchering them scriptures up, man. So the scriptures say that you're poor. It says, know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Okay, for the most I got the blindness on you guys, man. And you naked, man. Yeah, and like he, when uh, Yako Wako went out there, he didn't even have no garment on. Yeah. So he, he was naked. Oh, he, put, he puts his... He teaches with his head covered now. Yeah, he had. He, he looked like a thug on the street, man. Yeah. Like, you know. well, more like a junkie on the street. Yeah, yeah. Chunky, yeah. Chunky, yeah. Who you? Who you fooling, nigga? You ain't fooling nobody. He's still trying to get monkey off his back. Yeah. But it says, yeah, exactly. Verse eighteen. It said, "I come to thee to buy of me gold, that thou mayest be rich." And white and white raiment, and thy hands be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. That's the eye salve that the apostle was talking about, man. The understanding of the scriptures, man. The spirit of your house I gotta be dealing with you. Just can't pick up the scriptures and think you're gonna read them and break them down. You try doing that, you're gonna sit there and be going off, man. You gotta, you gotta constantly sup with you. Right, and you gotta, it starts with your teaching. Wormwood. Wormwood. Yeah, that's good. Wormwood. 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 Wormwood
That's right. We were paying a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, what about the Day of Atonement? We do that every year. The Day of Atonement is supposed to absolve you of your sins. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, the proof of us repenting is us coming out here in the highways and the byways, man. Yeah. Every yeah. year we keep the Day of Atonement. What the? Those guys, man. And the brother from uh, Mississippi, he kept the Day of Atonement. Yeah. Yeah. Atonement means heal. Right. You afflict yourself for what? To be healed of your sins, exactly. man. So what, why are they bringing up past shit? When we, when we keep the Day of Atonement. That shows you they don't know and understand the scriptures. They don't have no faith, man. No, no faith, no understanding. They're just parrots, man. They're just parrots. We don't watch that with Alizé and Broke Light later tonight. Oh, that, just to analyze yeah. it. You know, just to analyze it. Con, con, con. There's no faith. Con. I think we're going to ask a thing Apostle was saying about how is I supping with you. Right now, how is I is supping with you, man? Okay, because what? These scriptures are getting broken down the right way. Yeah, it speaks about uh, this knowledge being a banquet. Yeah. That's in uh, Proverbs, uh, what is that, the ninth chapter? Yeah. It's like a. And since you mentioned banquet, we even go into scriptures on uh, eating the right foods. Eating the right foods, yeah, you get the, you get the whole. You get the whole straight. The whole council, like the Apostle Paul said, I have not shunned to declare unto you the whole council of the Heavenly Father. The brothers got edified on the uh, videos that we did on uh, nutrition and shit. You know? Oh, yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 9, verse 1. It says, Wisdom has built her house. She has built out her seven You see right there, you see right there, that taxi said, We can cure cancer in our lifetime. There's already a cure for cancer. Oh, yeah. Change your diet. Change your diet, yeah. Uh, Proverbs chapter 9 verse 1 it says wisdom have built her house she have hewn out her seven pillars she have killed her beasts she have mingled her wine she have also furnished her table she have sent forth her maidens she crieth upon the highest places, places of the city. Right, yeah. that, that's the streets. That's on the streets. That's the streets, yeah. You know? And that lines up with uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. Wisdom crieth without, she utter her voice in the streets. So if you really have wisdom, you're going to be in these streets. You're going to be kicking the word in the streets. In season, out of season. In season, out of season. Baloo. Baloo. Right, nobody. Wormwood. What? <laughs> That's that wormwood. Hey, and ain't nobody gonna. They ain't gonna. We the only one that's gonna get out of the loop for that. Show ideas. Let's come down and have a camera. Wormwood. Yeah, you gotta have fun with this thing too, man. Oh yeah, hell yeah. And the part where it says in Isaiah, was that Isaiah 29? Stem and I'm Isaiah 28. Uh, stammer and lifting the mother tongue. Con. The word there, the, the word there, the word there for stammering is to make mockery, a form of bad foolery. Con. So we snap both people got nicknames for people, and they got nicknames for us, and we laugh at that shit, man. Yeah. So, hey, well, the most I said, he's gonna laugh at you when you're fearing, when you're fearing calamity come. So the most, you ain't gonna hear no echoey laugh from the heavens, man. That means the, the prophets, the men of the Lord, man. I mean, are we not the, the mouthpiece of the Most High? So what, you think we're just going to be rebuking you? No, we're going to laugh at you when the Most High pour that judgment on you, man. Well, the angels said they're going to laugh. That's in um, Proverbs 1, and I believe that's also in uh, Psalms 2. The angels said they're going to laugh. They're going to laugh. Matter of fact, go to that. Go to Proverbs 1, go to Psalms 2. 
and then go right to the point. Like the song, it's like around the seventh verse or so. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will laugh when your fear coming. So the most high got a sense of humor, man. When he starts destroying you guys, it ain't right. And you Edomites out there, he going to laugh. And the angels are going to laugh. And we're going to laugh, too. Yeah, you get the best laugh when you laugh last. Well, the scripture said, thou sh at destruction thou shalt laugh. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but the counsel of the wicked yeah, is far I, I from me. The righteous see it yeah, it's and are glad, man, and the so, innocent laugh them yeah, to scorn. Yeah, well, keep making sure it's all going to be crazy. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Psalms, chapter 2. Yeah. Oh, that was, uh, oh. 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 Yeah. Psalm chapter 2, verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Says, so then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. You know, we're talking about when the Lord destroyed the other nations, the Esau, man. Okay, for the Lord's going to make, like the Bible said, the Lord's going to make mockery of the devil, man. You know, right now they all in this. You said you mentioned that you be Jeremiah 10. To show you that this whole Christmas thing is pagan. Pagan or objection. That's why the most that's another reason why the most I go destroy this place. Babylon the Great. The side of Egypt. Sir, these are some of the names that the Bozai gave to this devil, to this devil's lands I use. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the words which I speak unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, all right, all right. and be not dismayed at the sign of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. What are some of the signs of heaven? Them UFOs. What the white man calls the UFOs. We call them IFOs, as Apostle Ball would say. We call them IFOs, identifiable flying objects. All right? Now, you got, I read once this thing with uh, the car they see on the CDG. Uh, no pictures, bro. No pictures, man. No pictures, man. No pictures, man. No pictures, man. He said that if you see a wall, that's safe. The angels up there in the ship. <laughs> when you see a pool, that's, that's demonic. So, anybody that follows him is out there in their mind, man. He's nuts and the kids love him. <laughs> Yeah, talking about some damn mermaids. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, mermaids. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. What? What? That's that word. Quick thing. Hey, bro. Just looking out for you. Yeah, looking out for you, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
First Corinthians 10 and 20. Let me ask you a question. Okay. First Corinthians 10 and 24. Let no man seek his own, but every man another's wealth. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles. That's it. Uh, Y'all know what the shambles are? You know what the shambles are? Shambles is another way of, uh, of saying meat market. So back when I was a kid, you, you didn't have no big supermarkets. You had meat markets, man. You, you had like a regular little, like, like a little supermarket. Butcher you, shop. You know, market, market. And then you had the meat market where you go to the butcher. Yeah. And you would have all kinds of meat all yeah. over. Now, they, now what they do is they got it in the supermarket. All together. You know? So that's the shambles that you got. One piece of meat over there, you got one piece over there, you got clams in the back, and they just bought it. So you would ask the guy, well, look, I want this man, I want this, I want that. So now as you read down, it's going to explain to you. And if you if you don't know that he's laying over the meat, can you go ahead and eat it? Right, right. Go ahead. It says, whatsoever is sold in, sham in the shambles that eat. Asking no questions. Asking no questions. Go ahead. For conscience. Go ahead. For the earth is the Lord. For the fullness thereof. Go ahead. If any of them that believe not give you to a feast, and ye be disquiet, disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, I don't have a shield. I don't? It says, if any of them that believe not, what is the death? What was Paul's job? We the job. Go and try to wake up really. It's a good really. thing. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you had to go and give him a good Oh, yeah. Go ahead. It says, uh, if and that, a lot of them that were inviting you to eat, they were praying to different idols and shit. Yeah. And Paul knew that. Go ahead. It says, if any of them that believe not, I'll bid you to a feast. Okay. And you be disposed of the fact that they're not believing and they're bidding you to a feast. What is the feast, man? You know, the feast is something that you want to do something. Maybe a father died, you know, and you want to do something. I got it. I got it. I got it. I see you. I see you. That's what you have every year at the same time. Okay? That's a feast. You have a birthday party. That's a feast. Every year for this. So Paul knew that they were praying to other gods. Right. Right. Now if they say, look, I pray to this God, Paul said, don't go. Read, read on. He said, and you be disposed to go, whatsoever is set before you, eat, asking no questions for conscience. Asking no questions for conscience. But it says, but if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake. That oh, by the way, I can kill this in the name of uh, uh, Marcus, right. Dionysus. Right. And you say, no, I can't eat it. All right? Yep. Go ahead. It says, um, eat not for his sake that showed it, and for conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord, and the fool is thereof. Conscience, I say, not thine own, but of the other. For why is my liberty judge of another man's conscience? You know, because that he's saying that, you know, if, if you if you do if you if you were to eat it, he's gonna look at you like, yeah, I thought you were such and such, you know, why are you eat that? You know, so he said, don't eat it for his conscience, not for yours, because you know you can eat the meal and, and, say, and say a prayer to the Yahweh Shem So basically when Paul went and he was invited to eat at a feast. Of, of an Israelite that didn't know he was an Israelite or didn't believe in Yahweh Shai, did not Paul know that he prayed to that other guy? <laughs> because the guy was unbelieving. You gotta believe in something, right? So Paul would have ate the turkey, man. Paul would have ate that turkey sandwich, man. <laughs> it says, For if I by grace be a partaker, if I by grace, go ahead, why am I even spoken of for that? Why am I evil spoken of? <laughs> now wait a minute, that brother out there in Mississippi could be the Apostle Paul. It might be <laughs> it says, I don't think Apostle Paul is out here on 34th today. He's in Mississippi. That's joking. It says, For if I by grace be a partaker, why am I evil spoken of? Let me break that down. If I by grace eat that that praise to an idol, that's the key word, grace. Why 
am I evil spoken of? Why am I evil spoken of? Yeah. Why is this such a big deal? Yeah. Go ahead. It says, for that for which I give thanks. For that, what, what did Paul say? Because I'm not praying, I'll give myself. He said, the name be a Look, man, yeah. any place that you go to eat at, right. any place you go in this, in this country to eat at, yeah. them, them crackers, when they saw them cows, they pray to sweet Jesus over there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime you go to like a, a Kenny fried chick, chicken or a Obama fried chicken, don't you know them fucking Arabs pray over that goddamn yeah. uh, chicken, man? Yeah, halal. Yeah, halal, 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 halal means, it, it, it only becomes halal when they pray to Allah over that shit, man. Yeah. When you have the Passover and you get your wine, right? Or you drink the honey wine, right? When you get when you have the Passover meal, the say, say that they say, don't they have when you get it, hot stuff and all that? Yeah. The rabbi is the rabbi. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? Yeah. You pray over just like Paul said. Yeah. You pray yeah. over it and you put your blessing over That's it, man. It. That's it. That shows you, my man, you ain't on no level level out of thing. Right. You can come back and make a comeback video all you want, man. Yeah. You don't know when you go to the store to buy the lamb, you know, to cook it, if they, if somebody had already uh, sacrificed that lamb on the God. And they're God. And they're God. They said, ask no question for conscience sake, man. And then, uh, the, 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 the key thing was Paul prayed over, over it anyway, man. So whatever demons was on that beat, he got rid of that demon and put a plus on it, man. Do you understand that? It's simple to understand. Now, why did I say understand it? Because he's full of shit, man. He's full of shit. Yeah. Frank Drackman. He's trying to nitpick or find something to pick at. But then on top of all that, the brother took a loaf and said that he was sorry, man. Still, yeah, still, still not good enough. They're not good enough. Not. They, but they it's good blood, enough for man. polite. They want to pound the flesh. Yeah. Well, here, here you got polite. A shot up the Bible. Right, and he's right. trying to save this guy. He didn't, he didn't apologize for that. Oh, he was kissing his ass last night. Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Hold up, now you, now you went off on that because you made a video cutting the guy. Now I'm guilty of that too. Because I, I got on you about that. You went off. I went and made a video. But guess what? I repented for that. Have you repented for what you did? See, no matter which way you come at us, man. We can always say, look, we repented that. That's it. That is the biker's jacket. Did not recall repent on that. Yeah, repent. Did not recurse it out. Yo, what the fuck is that? All right, brother. I, 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 I repented, brother. So you can repent, my man. That's right. See? All, all men of sin. But that's not good for this. Because we didn't, we didn't blast him against the Holy Spirit. Yeah, day. all men of sin can be forgiven. That, that's it. That's it. But they, those guys, they're not into mercy. Nah, now, the scriptures speak about that you got. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, the uh, the other law, the law of faith, yeah, yeah, yeah. judgment, and mercy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and Yahweh, I said, uh, if you would have known what this meaning, I would have mercy and not sacrifice. Yeah. And not condemn the just. Because Yahweh, I even cursed out. Uh, uh, what's that? James, James and John. They said should fire. And then Yahweh, I looked at him. What kind of what kind of spirit are you in? You know. <laughs> They wanted destruction, you know? The guys act like they're so holy, man. They're yeah. so righteous, man. You know? Frank Drackman. Frank Drackman. <laughs> it says, If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. No, first of all, your brother, now you say, I'm not your brother. That's it. Now, the reason why I didn't come to you alone, one on one, because I know you were damn deep, man. I basically exposed you, man. So the brother got your ass. That check, check me. Because he came back and said, um, he came back and said, look, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. How you going to get around that? Man? That's humility, man. Now give me Matthew's, I guess we ain't going to get into this. Give me Matthew's 23. All right, Matthew's 23. Oh, then you have I said, if you come to bear your gift, uh, first. Matthew's 23. Uh, <laughs> that's, 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 that's a powerful scripture. Con, 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 con. Go ahead. All right, Matthew's chapter 23. I'll start at the 23rd verse. It says, Well, it's a youth. Start at the top. Start at the top. All right, come, come, come. Yeah, that's all meat right there. That's all meat right there, man. It's uh, Matthew chapter 23, verse 1. Oh, okay. Then spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples. I'm going to take a. 
It says, This spake Yahweh Shai to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in, you get. in Moses' seat. All therefore, whatsoever they bid you, observe. That observe and do. But do not ye after their works. For they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. Now let me say this. You brothers are witnesses, right? Do we find heavy burdens to put them on your back? Well, hell. You brothers have free, free parts of the gospel, right? We don't even buy you all, man. Y'all know what y'all want to do. Shows now, like you shows. Up, you find out, we're going to get on you. Right, right, right. right. You yeah. got freedom to do videos every day. You know? Go ahead. It says, but all their works they do to, for to be seen of men. All their works that they do, they, they do to be seen of men. They make, they make broad their phylacteries. Now that's Nate. Kung Fu fringes. The Kung Fu fringes. That's Nate, man. And then now they, they're finding out that them guys that came up with them, they get they kind of fucking against them, man. You know? A lot of guys are leaving. You know, uh, walking up against him, man. Go ahead. It says, enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feast. Well, now, hold up, hold up. The perfect example is go back to Nate. Remember he did that Passover, what, two years ago? He was at this fancy hotel. <clears throat> and they had somebody had a camel behind him. And, one, and he, he was walking. They had a yeah, cape yeah, yeah, on, yeah. walking like like he was a uh, 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 general previous, man. But he was a... Saw the that's how General Grievous walked in. He walked all like that. Then he had this one guy following around. Then he had the people smile, smile, Bishop Nathaniel walking. <laughs> Read that again. Yeah. It says, He loves that man. You love it. Go ahead. And love the, and love the uppermost rooms at feast. In the chief seats in the synagogue. Now, how have we had our, our Passover last year, right? Re very a humble Passover in different houses, right? And when we had our Passover, we just there walked in. I like raised eight, it. Ten of us, yeah. 11 of us, whatever, 30, whatever. 12 times. How old are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now they think they're going to call the Passover. Yeah, 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 they'll run with it. You know, it, yeah. they'll run with that shit. Niggas, man. So that's a humble uh, uh, Passover, man. Go ahead. And, and greetings. You know how much of a burden that is for you to say, well, we're going to have Passover in Florida. You got people that live in Chicago, people that live in L.A., people up in Canada. You know how much money that costs to go down there? You got to pay for a hotel. See? That, that's not the spirit of the house, shop. Here's the spirit of the house, shop. Go ahead. It says, in greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. Master, Master, go ahead. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master. There's a, there's a brother, men of the Lord. I think it's men of the Lord, men, men of the Lord, I think it is. And he puts up all kind of videos of us, and other different camps. And anytime he put up a, uh, a video of us, so he puts up a bunch of even if your brother, even if your brother, put the master So people are watching. And um, yeah, 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 yeah,